Yeah, I don't support it. Why not? Because uh, it's bad for New Jersey. Chris Christie didn't speak out against prior efforts to repeal and replace Obamacare, but today he bucked the White House and strongly condemned the so-called Graham Cassidy bill, a partisan measure some analysts say could cost New Jersey $3.9 billion in lost federal health funding. I can't support a bill um, that uh, takes $3.9 billion away from uh, the people in the state of New Jersey. I think there are other ways to deal with this. I think there are better ways to deal with it. Um, so, you know, I've been lobbied significantly to be supportive of it, but I can't be supportive of it, and I'm not. The bill, hastily written by Republican Senators Lindsey Graham and Bill Cassidy, would reshape health care by converting all federal health insurance funding into block grants to individual states. Some analysts suggest Graham Cassidy could deprive 900,000 New Jersey residents of health care coverage. This bill would be a disaster for our state. It has the worst elements of all the previous bills that they've tried to get through Congress. Governor Christie pointed to political motivations, noting Graham Cassidy strips federal funding from 31 states, including New Jersey, which expanded Medicaid coverage under Obamacare. The new bill would redistribute that money to 19 mostly red states that didn't. But I know that this comes from a place where um, the folks who didn't expand now want some of that money back. Mm -hmm. But they chose not to expand at the time. Graham Cassidy would allow insurers to charge more to cover pre-existing conditions and opioid addiction treatment like this program at the Center for Great Expectations in Somerset, which offers long-term residential counseling for pregnant women, moms, and their kids. It's one of 25 addiction treatment initiatives the governor wants to expand. It's 10,000 times better than anywhere I've ever been. Um, this really is a one-of-a-kind program. The only thing that you owe to us is the ability someday to pay it forward. The Center for Great Expectations depends on federal grants and Medicaid, both challenged if Graham Cassidy passes. New Jersey's two senators will vote no. Senator Bob Menendez will reportedly miss his own corruption trial in Newark to be present, if necessary, when the bill's posted for a vote next week. Medicaid as we know it, would end under Graham Cassidy because they move from an entitlement to a block grant, which simply means whatever money's available in the block grant, if it's enough to go around, great. And if it's not, you're out of luck. Graham Cassidy's on a tight deadline. Republicans have until September 30th to pass it with just 50 votes under the budget reconciliation rules. In Somerset, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJTV News.